All right, here we go. My favorite childhood cookie, now covered in chocolate fudge. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. You saw it. You heard what I said. It's my favorite cookie growing up, the Nutter Butter, and they've finally decided to put some fudge on top. Let's do it. Open here. Oh, we're going to open here, all right. Let's check this out. Of course, this is... Kind of confusing box. Does this rip open? What is happening right now? Oh yeah, perforated edges usually mean something. Come on, you got this. Oh, I see what happens. Oh, what? Oh, I thought I was missing one, but one kind of tried to escape Shawshank and jumped out of its holder. Check it out right there. You got the M's all over it for mmm, mmm, mmm. Cannot wait to try it. Let's open these up. All right, so right off the bat, like, trying to open these up, so uh, unlike the Oreos that have that uh, seal on top where you can kind of put it back down and it sticks, I mean, even with those, I still put it in, like, a uh, freezer bag and keep it fresh longer. But once you open these bad boys up right there and you put them back in this box, they might go stale after a while, so you're probably going to have to put these in a bag uh, themselves. So uh, $2.99 at uh, Target. You might know it as Target. Uh, check it out right there. There they are. How many? Four, eight, twelve. Uh, Goodwill Hunting. Math genius. All right, check it out. There is one of these bad boys right there. I'm excited. So, unlike the original OG Nutter Butters that are shaped like a peanut, they're going the round version right there uh, and dipped in a chocolate fudge. So, wish me luck. Oh, this cannot be bad. No way this is bad. Going in with high hopes. Wish me luck. Oh, come on. Yeah. Two words. Legit. Mm-hmm. Check it out. These are lethal. Another two words right there. Lethal. All right, so I'm going to say 90 calories per cookie, 2.5 grams of fat per cookie, uh, because they give you the uh, nutrition information for two cookies right there, 180, uh, 5 grams. Again, Goodwill Hunting, uh, mathematical genius. Um, so, Nutter Butter, the Peanut Butter Lover's Cookie, fudge covered, it's new, uh, Nabisco. Check it out one more time. I'm not going to eat another one. Whoa. A, I don't need to eat another one for this review. They're amazing. This uh, rating is going to be high, mainly because of the nostalgia factor. I love Nutter Butter cookies. If you don't like peanut butter, you have a peanut allergy, you might not be agreeing with me right now. So uh, before I give it a rating, I'm just telling you how great it is. It's that uh, prototypical Nutter Butter flavor. You're going to add that layer of the uh, fudge on top of it. It is a match made in heaven. I mean, Reese's has made their living on peanut butter and chocolate. This is peanut butter and fudge, chocolate fudge. It's a no-brainer. It's amazing. I'm going to give it a rating. Here we go. So on a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of, oh, I'm going to give the fudge-covered Nutter Butters a rating of... This is a 95. This is a 95. Why is it not the promised land? Why not? I'm going to tell you why. Because I think I prefer the original OG Nutter Butter over that. Only because of the nostalgia factor and that I love that uh, shape of the peanut, the flavor of it. Because I will admit, when you're getting the uh, fudge in the mix here, it takes away a little bit from that authentic peanut butter flavor and cookie of the Nutter Butter. It's still there. Legit. 
but at the same time, you get the chocolate in the mix, so it's a little bit different. So I love the OG Nutter Butter. I have never rated those, so you could probably see where I'm going with this. The rating for the OG Nutter Butter would probably be a little bit higher, so I have to leave some leeway there. That's a 95 all day. So uh, there you go, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, uh, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter, social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. That was a little wax on, wax off daniel son so uh, yeah in closing have you seen this target target to the hipsters out there uh there you go these are them two dollars and 99 cents they also have a fudge covered uh oreo i saw those i did not buy those these i'm gonna have to have last me a while because these are lethal and not the best thing for you but a nice little reward snack uh once a day once every other day so uh there you go that's it comments below how excited are you let me know All right, so are you like me? Uh, do you look at a product and you wonder how you're going to keep these from going stale? Uh, I look at the packaging and I say, okay, how am I gonna do this? You're definitely gonna have to put these into a plastic bag to get longevity out of them. I'm okay with that because I mean, if you put them back in this box, check it out. I opened this box caveman style, just ripped it apart. Couldn't wait to get to these bad boys. But yeah, these are gonna have to go into a Ziploc bag because they will not stay fresh in this box. That's it.